Hi everybody, I'm Jackie Harrison from Jackie H Artistry and welcome to my art channel. Um, today I am going to, to take a lot of leftover paint and I have a lot of leftover paint. I'm just going to put them in a flip cup and I'm going to pour on this really pretty wood round. This I got at Dar Target for five dollars, and they're they're those cheap bins that what you know where you when you first come into a Target. Um, this one I must have gotten around Christmas time or right after Christmas because it said North Pole Blend Hot Cocoa served here. It came with two leather straps on each side, so um, should carry the tray. And I've already taken them off, taped to my back, put my push pins in to make sure it lifts off the 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 table and um i've already because these were were leftover paints um i had to check consistency on all of them and um this is what i use um the, where i found it i don't know if she was the original um uh, creator of this i don't think so but i got this from tammy anderson if you look her up she's a fabulous artist if you look her up she will um, you can find this, you can print it out. I put it in like a report cover so I can just wipe it off. Um, and it tells, well, I'll go over it very quickly. I did it in the last, um, video, but, um, so you put a drop of, of your colors in each of these little circles. They have to be the same amount, pretty much the same amount. Um, uh, and then you count to, you pick it up and you count to five. For a, for a pearl painting, you need a very, 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 very fluid amount. And so by the, when, you, when you get to five, it should be to a four or five. A Dutch pour should be a three to four. Um, a bloom recipe, which is the, the one with the thickest paint, is one to 1.5. And all other paint, uh, uh, painting techniques um, are two to three. And um, other painting techniques are flip cup, dirty pour, ring pour, um, open cup, whatever. Um, but they all have to be pretty much the same consistency. And so I've done that and I'm going to, this is, I'm gonna bring you down. So you're actually looking at what I'm doing rather than what I am saying. And hopefully that will work. Ooh, it looks good, maybe, I hope so. Okay, this is about a 12 inch round. So it's gonna take about five ounces of paint. So I just, so I have all different colors. Some of them are, are mixed, some of them this one. So let's see, how do I wanna do this? I'm just gonna put them all in a little at a time. Some of them I'm gonna um, dump more of. Uh, let's see, what should we start with? I think I'm gonna start with this and this one happens to be Liquitex turquoise and so I'm going to pour some of that into the bottom of my cup just debating you know what I'm gonna put this maybe here so you can actually see what I'm maybe nah, here this is good I hope you can see what I'm doing um so I'm pouring in some blue some of the turquoise blue this one is I have no idea. I want to say it is. Let me look at my uh, maybe Kings. Is that what it said? Kings Blue. Kings Blue by Amsterdam. I think. Um, uh, I'm gonna hold off on that. I think I'm gonna put the purple in next. This one is probably a mixture of dioxazine purple, which comes out very very dark when it dries. Not doesn't look purple at all. It looks almost black. Um, and I think there might be a little, there's not much. No, I think it's all dioxazine purple. I'm gonna pour the rest of that in there. Okay, then I think I'm gonna do, I'll do this. Hmm, all these decisions. Hmm, yeah, let's just put some blue, the blue in there. And I'm pouring along the sides for a while, for now. Um, I am going to have some gold that I'm going to add in there and that I'm going to pour from high so it mixes with everything. It doesn't really matter. It, well, it does matter depending on what you want to do. So you can you can be pouring on high everything. They all mix and you never know what you're going to get. Um, 
I think I'll leave that. Oh, I love this. I love this green. This green is, um, uh, I think it's green, uh, green blue by Pebio, and it is stunning. It is, it is, it is rich with, um, with some uh, mica in it. I'm gonna actually pour that a little on high too. I think I do want to mix that one. Okay, and when you mix a metallic with a matte. Um, frequently you get the most amazing reactions, chemical reactions. I'm not a chemist. I don't claim to be, I'm not quite sure why it does that, but it does it. Um, the person that probably could tell you, and she probably has on many of her videos is Gina DeLuca. I think she must have a chemistry background because she does a lot, explains a lot of the, um, of why chemical, why the chemical reactions and shapes and everything work. So she's also another great artist. Um, let's see, how about, this one is a mixture of, um, I don't know what this is. I wanna say this might be, I'm looking at my, my paints. Um, I don't know what this is, but it is, a, I don't know if you can see it. It is a beautiful, very, very pale um, green. Let's see, what haven't I put in yet? Uh, I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put the rest of this pink in. Okay, and I think we will put, I am gonna put some of this, oh wait, I'm gonna wait on that one. Did I get everything? I hope I got everything. Okay, rest of this I'm gonna put in, just gonna put in on top. That goes, um, I think I'll, this, this is aquamarine blue. Um, I think by Liquitex, probably Liquitex, and it's really a gorgeous color. I don't know if you can see this. Okay. Um, 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 um. You know what, I think, all right. So I've got about mm, maybe three ounces of paint here, maybe, yeah, maybe four, I still need more. So, you know what, I'm gonna put the rest of this in. I'm just gonna pour it right on there. Um, I'm not, normally I scrape out um, what's left. I'm not gonna do that because these paints have been sitting and if anything is gonna get congealed, it's gonna be the stuff around the, um, around the edges. Um, this is, I love this, I, first one I put in the Liquitex Turquoise. I'm gonna put more of that in there. I am going to put, let's see, I think I already got the rest of that. Um, I think I'm done with the purple. All right, running out of running out of colors here. Let's get the rest of this. This one, I don't know if you can see. It almost it is like a pl deep plum color, and it was definitely a mixture of. I was trying to get the right color, and I have about four of these in different shades. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to get, but it wasn't the colors I wanted. But anyway, okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this blue, and then here goes. I'm going to put in. The rest of the screen, and because it's got my, I'm putting it up from high. I do want to get, love that color. Oh, I hope it shows up, and I hope it doesn't get muddy, because it can. All right, gold's coming in. Gold is coming in. This gold is absolutely. I always, I almost always use um, uh, 14 karat gold, but 14 karat gold by Deco Art. But I discovered recently um it's Pebio studios and it's precious gold and it is such a stunning color and it doesn't seem to when i use the 14 karat gold and i am adding in the floetrol it sort of dulls it it may not it, it doesn't necessarily come out dull when it dries because the um, um because the floetrol will dry clear but this one doesn't seem to have any effect all right, so here we go. I think I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna make a mess, probably. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, jump. Ooh, not bad. Sometimes it ends up going flying off. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll let it sit for just a second. All right, let me move all this other stuff out of the way. It's on my spinner, but I don't think I'm gonna spin. I, I, I'm 
originally was going to do a do something where I was going to spin, but I don't think I'm going to spin this. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. I have my handy torch because there are probably going to be a lot of bubbles. Although maybe not because they were all sitting. These paints were sitting. I stirred a little bit. Some of them thickened up and I had to thin them down. But we'll see. Are you ready? Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this and like that and like that. All right. I, I really hope the gold comes through. I don't see any of it. I'm assuming it will. Oh, isn't this pretty? Oh my gosh. Sometimes the cups, I wish I could, I, I'm almost tempted at times to like cut the cups and like try to flatten out the sides and make something out of them because the inside of the cups are always gorgeous. All right, I'm just gonna torch. I don't see a lot, I see a few bubbles, but. Happen. Not too many though. Not, you get a lot more bubbles when you um, when you mix your paints right before you're going to um, use them. And these have been sitting. Okay. So so the gold is coming up. I expect that as I thin this out with. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Should I? Should I spin this? Should I try to spin this maybe? Hmm, I've never, I've not done a spin on a flip cup before. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, it'll spin. But you know what, I need to center it more. Otherwise half of it's gonna go on the other side. Um, hmm. All right, let's see what happens. Um, I'm making a mess. There's a really good reason why I wear paint clothes. <laughs> a very good reason. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it the other way. Oh. Not bad. So I'm not loving the light, the, what I do, I use this um, very, very light green and not loving that part. Um, the turquoise, the blues uh, are wonderful. There's not a lot of purple. And you know what? I'm going to do one more spin. I think I still have way too much paint on my, on the, on it. Um, and I need to get the sides. I'm going to take I'm gonna just move this because I want to get more of that turquoise, which I'm gonna lose to, uh, in the center. Maybe get some of that light color off. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I'm gonna still talk. I want some more of that. I don't know if you can you can see this. It is gorgeous, but I really want more of that turquoise in there. Okay. That was a pretty easy fix. Let's see if there's anything I want to do or change. Um, you want to make sure that you can take your your gloved finger or take a stick and um, go underneath to get all the extra paint off. And you want you're going to do that a couple of times before you like put it away to dry because what happens because the paint is fluid, it's going to continue to flow even though this is even. It's gonna there are some drips coming down and it will pull the paint that's on top down with it. That doesn't necessarily mean it'll be a bad thing, but it just, it may very well though change your, um, your design. And I am going to, I am gonna spin it one more time, I think, or maybe another one or two more times. See what we get. Okay, I like it. 
I like it, but I don't like this part. So I think I'm going to try to figure out. I'm going to take a skewer. I don't know if it'll work. I take a skewer. I'm going to bring, I think I'm going to bring some of this um, gold up, maybe. Uh, no. Well, yeah, skewer will work a little bit. But I want to try to get, I don't know. I'm not loving that the white part. I mean, it may dry very differently, but um, it may not. Oh, and that beautiful green kind of, well, the green, no, it didn't get lost. I can see a lot of it. Just right now, all I'm seeing is the part I don't like. Isn't that always the case? Um, I have been told by many, many, many artists that pretty much if you're 75% happy with your with it, leave it alone. And I can attest to that, that it has, I have many times ruined a, something I loved because I screwed up in here. My paint, my, a drip on my glove went right into the gold. It's okay, we're gonna just make sure it looks like it fits. Uh, all right, I guess that's good. Yeah, what do you think? If, you, if I was live, I wonder what you would tell me. All right, I'm leaving this alone. Well, yeah, I'm leaving it alone, guys. Now I, I want to torch again. The other thing is um, when you have, if you, if your paint, if you, the thinner the layer of paint, not the paint itself, but the thinner the layer of paint that is on your canvas, um, the more likely that you'll get cells to pop through. Because what happens is when you heat the paint, um, the sometimes the cells will pop and bringing different colors up through the other paints. Um, I think I have a lot of paint on here, but I'm gonna leave it because I think it looks still, it's still pretty. And that's what we're gonna do. All right. On the next video, I will try to, I will come back and tell, show you the dried results. Hopefully, hopefully I like the dried results. And also if you're new, just keep in mind that most of the acrylic paints dry much darker than they look. So this will be darker. Um, I'm hoping that maybe that, um, that light color that is on the canvas that I don't like will um, um, will actually look pretty good when it's when it's dry. Um, have a great day, everybody, and thanks for joining me. If you liked the video, if you find it helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not, um, um, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. That way, um, when you go onto YouTube and I have one. Um, it'll pop up for you to, um, to see the, another video. Um, anyway, I would love your comments too. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.